wanted to see how I make the pizza. Right now I have a hot pan. All this is going to have in it is a little bit of water. I'm only going to use like a tablespoon or two. I steam my broccoli. I've already cut up the broccoli and they're all bite-sized pieces. I'm going to let this steam for maybe like five minutes because we are going to saute it afterwards. So it has cooked. That's why it's bright green. We're going to put olive oil in. I'm going to use probably about a quarter of a cup. And I also am going to put in garlic. This is the seasoning for all the pizza. I mean, it's going to be this salt, pepper, this garlic, the broccoli, the olive oil, Parmesan cheese on the pizza. The thing that ha is important about garlic, you just want to make sure that you're only going to saute it until you smell it. Once you smell it, it's going to get to the point where it could burn. So now we're going to mix this in. Now I know I did the two or three tablespoons of olive oil, but with all of the broccoli here, it's nothing is wet. It's like the, the broccoli is just coated and really what that's going to do to me, it really just helps it so that the broccoli doesn't burn in the oven. Now I have my garlic throughout it and this is where I just season it with salt and pepper. This is to taste. I season it as if I were eating it as a side on a plate. That's how I season it for my pizza. Should be fork tender. You don't want it mushy. I don't like it mushy. Okay, so that's good. So that's all we're doing. It's sauteed, seasoned, Perfect. Being this, especially this one, I want my crust crunchy at the bottom. I want it soft at the top, crunchy on the bottom. I'm doing it on cast iron. I either do it um, on my pizza pan and will remove it off of the pizza pan and just let it cook on the open air. I will do that. I won't do that with this one. This one, I will put it on cast iron so that it definitely crisps up because of the way I'm making this. Or I also do this out on... Um, my pizza oven outside. So I'm using this as a form, but I don't cook it on this. This is more just for me to know what size I'm using. So I'm using parchment, putting it down, it just covers the pan. And I will cook it on the parchment, right on the cast iron. I'm going to stretch the dough. All right, so we have our pizza stretched. Now we're gonna let this rest for a few minutes. We let this rest, and now we are gonna put this together. All right, so I start with just putting down my mozzarella. And like I said, this is kind of like a deconstructed, when you have a white pizza, um, sometimes people do tomato, sometimes people do broccoli. Uh, I'm sure they do other things too. Those are kind of the two I know, usually vegetable. But when you do a white pizza, a lot of the time what they're doing is putting down some sort of Alfredo. And that's what this is replacing. I used to do that. And like I said, I saw that and I switched it. And I don't think we've ever gone back. I think this was the preference for everybody. Okay, so I just put the cheese on the way I would on a normal pizza. You can't have any of the crusts, you know, none of the dough showing. Now I'll show you. Okay, all covered. Now we're going to put the topping on. So it's pretty liberally covered. From here, we are using Parmesan cheese. You could freshly grate it, uh, or you can use it already grated. I'm using it already grated. Finishing this one up, I may or may not need more, I don't know yet. So the way I do it, I kind of just, because I have mine in, in a bag, I just tap on it. And I go all the way through and I even hit the crust. So this is 
it's it's covered. There's there's nothing missed. Some spots might be a little bit lighter. That's okay. And then my last step is the heavy cream. So I use. I will say it is easier when you have the little spout. Makes it so much easier. I eyeball this. This is something where I probably am only using. Oh shoot, a quarter of a cup normally. You don't want too much, it will make it soupy. And you'll see it soaks in. If I hold this up, nothing is running off. Putting it in the oven, and I will show you how I do that too. So my cast iron, and I basically just slide it on. Okay, so now we are going to turn it if we need to. let that cook a little bit more this is ready to come out the one thing I would do is check the bottom make sure that's brown and it is now if that bottom wasn't brown enough what I would have done it would have been I would have let it slide it right off of the parchment paper to put it right on either the rack or on the cast iron. That's one thing that I do sometimes. This one, I didn't have to do that today. Uh, but at times, if I want it crunchier, that's one thing, that's a little trick. So that's how I make it. Let me know what you think.